We are pleased to welcome Dr. Sue Henderson, president of New Jersey City University. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to be here. First time with us. Uh, you have great things going on your campus. Yes, we do. It's an exciting place to be right now. Let's name some of them. Well, uh, first of all, I'm living in a city that's on the rise. Jersey um, City. Jersey City. Uh, mayor said last week that there'll be 50,000 more people moving into this city uh, in the next three or four years. We You've heard are, Steve Phillip many times. He says they're going to have also the largest population in the state we soon. Are. We are. We are. We're on the grow, and we are the public institution in our city. So we want to make sure that we're doing what they need and meeting the needs of our community. How do you keep your um, tuition as low as it appears to be? So we have the lowest tuition in the state, and we do that, we think, by being efficient. Uh, we have uh, been very careful about how we spend our money. We have students who come to us who are, a lot of them are needy, and so we need to make sure that they can get through in a timely manner and that they haven't uh, left with a lot of debt. As a matter of fact, our students, we leave with the lowest debt in the state. The lowest? Yes. Yeah, it's below the national average. How? Um, because we have a lot of aid that we provide for them. We have fundraising that we've done with our foundation that provides, and then the institution works out ways to help them get through. The other thing that strikes me is that it's, it has been said, and I'm sure you're backing up, the safest campus. Yep. Um, and, you know, you're in Jersey City. We're in Jersey City. You're in an urban area. Mm -hmm. Talk about safe campus. So uh, our campus is, uh, it's fenced in, and we have very good security. But our Clery Act, which every institution in the country has to do, reports, uh, and our data is lowest of anybody in the state. And we think that's because we take care of our students. We're very careful about when they leave campus and how they leave campus. Doctor, who are your students? So our students are very diverse. Uh, we are what I would call a majority minority campus. But a majority minority. minority campus. Go ahead. So that means more than 50% of the students who attend in JCU are an ethnic minority of some sort. So we have 35% Hispanics, about 21% African Americans. We have Asians, Indians, Pakistanis, um, Egyptians, Polish, Italians, and Irish. A little bit of everything. You know, I've noticed you have a very aggressive. Um, I call it branding mm -hmm. only because I write about branding. I think about it a lot, and so I've, it struck me as struck me that you have aggressive branding campaign. So one of the reasons we're doing that is we think that people don't know who we are, nor what a good value we are uh, for students and for our community. So we're trying to tell that story in a lot of lot of different ways. But the brand, how would you describe it? Um, better known than it used to be. Uh, and strong, getting stronger, getting stronger. Again, we're trying to get our news out, talk about mm. the good things that are happening on campus. We, for example, we have uh, a remarkable security studies doctorate program. Actually, it's the only one of its kind in the country. Our faculty in that particular department have finished their work either at the CIA or at the Army or in the military or in the police, and um, they are training the future leaders in that field. The other program that you have that a lot of people talk about is the music business. When people said music business, I said, wait a minute, is it a business program? Is it a music program? They said, no, it's mi business and music together. Talk That's about exactly that. what it is. We've had for a long time a very strong music, dance, and theater program. So students come to us with the aspiration of wanting to perform on Broadway. But not everybody's going to end up being a performer. So we have a track within the music, dance, and theater program that is music business. Talk about what, what, what does that really mean? I know. They should have a course called Public Television Business. <laughs> the business, no, seriously. I mean, I love the, the art of public television is the fun part, interviewing people, mm -hmm. producing great packages. We have wonderful people on the artistic side. Mm -hmm. But I mean, the business of public broadcasting is running a tight operation, raising money. The business. That, is that what you're talking about? That's exactly what it is. So anybody who's going to be in the music business program needs to know and understand how you do recording, how you promote your artists, what a good artist looks like, and what the market's needing. Just like there's a business of higher education. By the way, describe the business of higher education. Ah, that's a good one. Um, well, I'll talk about a program we're looking to put together, and that is about the business of higher education. I would say that higher education today is about the business of creating knowledge, educating the future, and becoming an economic driver for its region and for this country. Go to the last part. You have an initiative. I talk about an economic driver. A $42 million construction project on 22 acres of land in Jersey City. 
That's correct. Uh, we are going to be doing four different buildings over the next four or five years. We have a science building that we are doing on our campus. That is a $42 million project that is part, funded in part by the state and part with our own money. And that will help our, our faculty who are scientists and our students to do research that will be useful, but also then prepare, prepare our students to go out and work in the pharmaceutical fields or go into medical school. Um, on our 22-acre campus, which we've been spending about eight years remediating, uh, we will be putting an academic building, which will be for our music, dance, and theater program, as well as a, a dormitory for another 450 students. So, so we'll let me back up for a second. You know, we've, we've talked to Steve Phillips several times on our sister program, New Jersey Capital Report. Mm -hmm. um, and when we do, he, you know, he talks a lot about the economic uh, engine in Jersey City. You see yourself, you see the institution as a big part of that. I do, in two ways, in two ways. Uh, the west side of the city is a part that hasn't seen as much development as the side that's closer to Manhattan. We are putting our school of business on the east side, which is closer to Manhattan. Uh, as a matter of fact, you'll be sitting in your finance class in your MBA program, and you'll see the World, World Trade Center, which will be fascinating, absolutely fascinating. But the other side of the city, the west side, has not been developed. And so we are actually working with uh, local developers as well as with the mayor's office to find market rate housing to put up on some of our property as well as things like a grocery store, a fitness center. All these things we think will help make bring life to this side of the city, an economic driver, but they also provide services for our students. All part of the university. Yes. New Jersey City University <clears throat> is changing all the time because the needs change, the opportunities change, and uh, part of a great city. Currently the second largest city in the state, and uh, the mayor, Steve Phillip, believes it will be the first. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Sue Henderson, president of New Jersey City University, I want to thank you for joining us. It won't be the last time. Thank you. That's Good fun. having you. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. <laughs>